Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 25. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. Matthew 6, verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. A person needs just three things to be truly delighted in this world. Someone to love, like God or a spouse. Someone, something to do, like a task or a job. And something to hope for in life. Deprived of pain, how could we know joy? This is an old dispute in the meadow of opinion about anguish and its foolishness and lack of style could be known for times. But suffice it to say that the existence of kale does not in any way affect the taste of honey. The most fruitless of all days is one without happiness. When we work from our soul, we feel a river moving in us, a joy. Happiness is wine for the soul. Happiness gentle or noisy and bottomless, tinted over with sincerity and the comical statement made by man that life is worth living. Occasionally our joy is the source of our smile, but occasionally our smile can be the source of our joy. We must be joyful and smile often. We all need some comedy or laughter in our lives. We must not think of the misery in life, but of the beauty that is life. Life is beautiful, and we need to enjoy it. We must do all things with the Holy Spirit within our hearts. There must be happiness in every day. There must be some pain in life, some good taste and some bad. We must have love, a task in life, and hope for the future. We must take one day at a time. We must be strong as metal. These things we should know for our true happiness. God's blessings be upon us all.